Hello, hello, hello. Greetings. Hello, chat. Hold on. Let me. Hello. How are you today? Where am I? Hello. Hey. Hello. What's going on? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Um. It's Saturday, bro. It's not Tuesday. I wish it was. Actually, no. I'm okay with it being today. We're gonna jump into Mario in a bit. Let me let me just switch over there because I think then I'm playing Oblivion and prepping for a move. A move I heard. Exciting. Like wait. What 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 got you into an Oblivion mode? What started Oblivion mode for you? Why not just play the Randy Savage Dragons mod on Skyrim? I've been to the top of the mountain! What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! Dragon! Yeah! I just need to move! Yeah! 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 Um, for many reasons. <laughs> because it's scary. Oh yeah, brother! No, I don't like it at all. It's been forever since I played Skyrim. I remember loving Oblivion, though. Uh, maybe we should stream Skyrim eventually. I was trying to do mods and stuff, and then I... It, it was a moment of hyper-focus, and then it was gone. I'll fix it. I'll do it eventually. Many, That's how many I feel reasons. When I write my books. Yeah, sometimes you're just like really into it, and then every other time is like, I'll get to it. Like, I, like I've got like this idea for a fictional book. I've got this idea for a commentary, and it's like, uh, there it goes, and it's gone. Well, Thomas the Dank Engine Dragon. Oh no, I saw that too. That's terrifying. I don't love that. I don't. Guys, you know. welcome to Resident Evil Village gameplay. But do I like? Yes, obviously we're playing Resident Evil Village right now. Um, I think that I'm more terrified of a Randy Savage dragon because you can see the skin stretch over a dragon skeleton, whereas Thomas dragons are just trains, and you know his face is already terrifying, but it's nothing I haven't gotten used to. Randy Savage stretched over the frame of a dragon does something different to my insides. Saying you don't want the Slim Jim, brother? No. I want, I've never wanted Slim Jims less, to be honest. It's so good. Wait, I'm almost done it and I love it. <laughs> Did someone say RE8? It's time to talk about the nine foot tall vampire mommy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want it. Listen, I got some science to spit on all of you. Oh, yep, there's science. In case any of you decide, hey, you know what? I want to be stepped on. There's science. Listen, so a content creator did some research and some study. This woman is nine foot six, and she's very large. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so this person decided... Apparently the triple set from the starter deck Kaiba, the triple of blue eyes, can go up and go for upwards of fifteen hundred dollars. It lowered? Yes. Excellent. Alright, cool. It may be kind of jank, but it's alright. We can move forward now. <laughs> so.
so y'all can hear me okay? Can you hear Dave and Dan okay? Dave and Dan decided to not say anything at this moment. Oh, well, sorry. I didn't know you were trying to. <laughs> Tell pressure me much pressure <laughs> mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell yo so i was i was talking uh raven i was talking about the uh the speed run that i found of mario the other day and the dude finishes it in like oh the dude finishes it in like four minutes and 52 seconds right and everybody was freaking out because they didn't think that the game could be optimized anymore beyond what it had already was. Cause somebody got it down to five minutes and they were like, no, we can't get it any lower than that. And then somebody got it down to 450 something, 454 or whatever. And they were like, no, that's it. There's no more corners to be cut, no more hacks to be had. And this dude got 452. And um, that was in, April of this year and I was watching the different things that he was doing and the different like jumps and how in the very beginning wait a minute yes in the very beginning there were like certain blocks that you had to jump on if you jump on the pipe at the very end and then hit the third block at the top you should be able to jump over everything hit the flags base don't touch the flag. You hit the flag's base and it bounces you up and it takes less time for the level to end. And I was like, what? That's insane. How how do you even think like that? How, how did you discover that? And they think now this is definitely it. Like there's no other possible way for there to be any more hacking any more time cut off and I'm waiting for the time when somebody's like I did it in four minutes several pixel perfect jumps yeah and it blows my mind but if I was if I was like I'm gonna dedicate my time this is all I'm doing for the next like I don't know what month because a lot of the people who are doing the speed run they look they look young, right? Like they did not grow up with the game. They were introduced to it and I don't know, they have, they don't have jobs or lives. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they are at home and therefore have the time, but they didn't grow up with it. So they don't know from years of experience what to do. And I feel like I might have enough knowledge that if I were to dedicate time to it, you know, this is like a mission. I feel like I could do some kind of speed run. Maybe not the four minute, 52 second one, you know, but maybe, just maybe an okay run. <laughs> I'll try speed running Kingdom Hearts. Speed running Kingdom Hearts is an, it's a whole different monster. Right. Very much. I know that there are worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2 where you can just skip them and never have to go do them, and that's how speedrunners do them. Like, you never actually have to go to the Pride Lands. Month. It'll take a longer than a month for sure. <laughs> you should do a blind speedrun. Oh, no. See, first... Oh, patience. Right, I remember. I need to have patience. Um, Don't you need to be a doctor to have patience? It depends. Get over here. Um, okay, score. This is where... That Mortal Kombat was very good, by the way. This is where I was having all the issues. Yeah, a uh, couple days ago. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Month. It'll take longer than a month? Maybe. I don't know. It depends. You know, if it's in you, it's in you. If you if you get a good run, you get a good run. Um, I would love to speed run Kingdom Hearts. That would be sick. I was also looking at speed running uh, Final Fantasy X, which is a lot because they don't, the scenes are unskippable. So like, it's, I believe, 
the speed run for Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy X right now is like nine hours and something, right? Because you can't skip those scenes. Definitely longer than a month. <laughs> I don't like even if you're dedicated. Oh, don't take my performance right now as my resume. Don't don't judge me right now. <laughs> I I stopped my flow because you all are more important than my flow right now. <laughs> Have you ever watched um, Trihex do speed runs? No. I've never looked people up specifically. Uh, Trix is um, the face of the tryhard emote. If you've seen that emote, probably. Um, he does. He does um, Super Mario Maker speed runs a lot. I, it's a whole lot of. Um, I've deviated a little bit from it, but the the one speed run channel that probably everybody watches is what I have discovered things on. Games done quick. Oh crap! I could never be a speedrunner. You don't have the patience. Not only that, but like, I, I just enjoy taking in a game too much. Like that's why I never play on the hardest difficulties either. Mm -hmm. Like I would, I never play Kingdom Hearts on proud mode. Like, I Ever? Never no. I never play proud mode on Kingdom Hearts because I just want to enjoy the game. I don't want to sit there and get frustrated at the game. I don't think you'll get frustrated at proud mode. Critical gets a little angering. You know, if you're if you are quick to a trigger, you may not want to do that. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> It's okay. We can get back there pretty quickly. <laughs> That's where I keep dying though. Like, I'm pretty sure even when I was younger, that was my point where I was like, I can't get past this. You'll find a way. It's like, why did you put, why did you do that? Why did you put a, a lone hammer monkey by himself? Oh. He was just trying to say hi there. That one dodge and then ate the enemy's face. <laughs> Man, I'm trying. This is not a speed run. This is a, I, I just want to beat it, you know? I, I also know that me not playing like proud or critical mode has also made me miss out on certain things in Kingdom Hearts 3 because like, I think, a, I think there was a Keyblade that was locked behind proud or critical mode. I forget which one though. They both were in fact. Oblivion and Oath Keeper. Yes. Yeah, I just never, like, I'd rather just enjoy the game and play it the way I want to play it, like, without any possibility of frustration. That's fair. I get yeah, that. I then again, don't you play Dark Souls and Bloodborne? No, that's Dan. Uh, well, yes, that is Dan, but I thought you also partook of the, of the... Oh, no, 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 no. Of the I old blood? Huh? Do I sound like I play it? I... <laughs> no, I don't play Dark Souls. I don't play any of the Souls games. The only game that I played that's even remotely close to a Souls-like was probably... I don't even know if I've ever played one, to be honest. Hmm. Like, the hardest game I've ever played, really, for me, was Ghost of Tsushima. Which is supposed to be Souls-like, right? Kinda, I guess? It's weird. I thought you played Sekiro. Also Souls-like. I never beat it. I ended up just watching uh, Donkey's video on him fighting the uh, giant gorilla that you chopped his head off and then it came back to life. Donkey is I the laughed. occasional treasure. <laughs> I never beat Sekiro, but yes, I did play Sekiro. Better so get in the I speed guess that mode. would be the most difficult one that I've played. Because yeah. I just never beat it. That's the Bloodborne formula. Hi, book! And just brought to just its perfection. No mistakes. Do better. You know what? I need a coach like you in my life. 
I have a coach like you in my life. You're right here. You're right here. Hey, I love getting this on first try. I'm that guy that just pokes and figures out the chaotic neutrals <laughs> life. I'm, I'm just like, what, what was it the Joker said? I'm a dog running in traffic. I don't know what I'd do if I caught a car or something like that. It's what, do. dying is the easy part <laughs> or something like that? Dying is the easy part. Oh, did you have, Raven, did you have a bad time with Sekiro? Was it a bad time? Did the monkeys get you? Please tell me the monkeys got you because the monkeys get everybody. That sounds like it's something that you would say if you were crazy. Did the monkeys get you? Gotta do Sekiro, Ghost of Tsushima, and Fallen Order. Which Fallen Order was also kind of difficult for me. So, like, Fallen Order has like a sort of Souls-like feel to it as well. Really? Oh, you know what? I heard that. Did I really die on this Goomba? Come on. Get my head in the game. This is because I didn't watch the last Star Wars movie. I didn't do it when I was supposed to. Ah! <laughs> the funny thing about hearing your various noises as you play this game is because the, the stream is on a delay for me, I don't see what you did wrong until like 10 seconds later and it's still funny. I'm so glad that you're enjoying this. This is why we're here. <laughs> I'm deleting UBI. <laughs> oh no, I guess it was a bad time. And that's fine. You know what? You just like to enjoy games and it doesn't sound like it's enjoyable.